Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you are in, I hope you are having a good day. So we are going to read some self-care cards. Um, at the bottom is Meditate. But I haven't started shuffling yet, so let's see what comes out. These are the cards I was drawn to, I was drawn to start with. what comes out what does the collective need to know about their self-care from these cards today make a meal I don't know if you um, watch some of my other YouTube channels but I do try to post a variety of things to help you know different people with different things um, I do post vegan meals but of course um, you could always add some meat to whatever um, ideas I've come up with um, you know usually beans um, lentils um, I've done pasta of course different kinds of vegetables um, but you know, you could always, like I said, use the vegetable in the side and add meat to it if you so choose. And 30, this card is number 32. 3 plus 2 is 5, which equals change. Right? So maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time to cook healthier. There are vegetables in this photo. Um, so again, maybe it's time to cook some vegetables, and just start eating healthier, even if you do still eat meat. Okay, we also have hydrate, so somebody needs to drink more water. And we have look for fairies, right? Some people don't believe in that, but um, if you do, look for fairies. There's even a... Um, the fairies have butterfly wings, and there's even an actual butterfly in the picture. So maybe a fairy to you is a butterfly, right? Okay, anything else? What other self-care tips does the collective need to know? Oh, what's that? Clean your space. Um, I know a couple weeks ago... I had some spider webs and some dust on the walls in my bedroom from the fan. So I used the mop. Um, I saw Joy Amore do this. She took like a Swiffer type of mop and she wiped down her walls. And I did use a regular mop and then I followed it up with a paper towel with a little um, um, cleaning solution on it. But whatever works for you. Um, this woman is cleaning her windows so maybe you need to clean your windows. Um, it is springtime, so a lot of people start doing their spring cleaning. Um, so whatever you feel like you need to do around your home to clean and bring in good energy. Is there anything else? Does the collective need to know anything else? Let's see. Oh, sex. <laughs> um, I, I feel like maybe you're somebody who does not have a sex partner right now, or at least not a regular sex partner, but maybe um, in order to relieve some stress, you need to have sex. Um, if you do have a regular sex partner and you haven't had sex in a while, um, 
you know, you may need to maybe put some lingerie on or go to bed with no clothes on and have some sex. Um, of course, if you already do it on the regular, then keep doing what you do. And we have family. Maybe it's time for you to have sex so you can start a family or at least connect with your family. Um, share some hugs. See they're hugging in the photo. Looks like a mother and daughter. Um, so if that makes sense for you, then, you know, maybe you need to connect with family. Anything else? see this says chanting um if you watch any of my meditation videos i know i have at least one or two where i talk about saying om or hue like hue om so maybe um you can check those out if you want to also, this card here says, clear your energy field, and she is burning sage. Um, I did burn my sage already. So, um, sage does help to cleanse and detox your space. And sound healing. So, I have a tuning fork, I have a singing bowl, I have um, even some maracas, um, so let's go ahead and tap the singing bowl while we're at it. Okay. So hopefully that did help to clear some energy, but you may need to do some more of that. Even if you have a drum, um, whatever you have to help clear your energy. Um, but you need to do some sound healing. You can even pull up some sound healing videos on YouTube um, that are specifically for sound healing. Maybe listen to them while you're sleeping or while you're just relaxing. All right, anything else? I feel like that's it. get into the tarot cards at the bottom we have the nine of pentacles and we have the ten of cups when i cut when i um, cut the deck the bridge I haven't been able to do the bridge in years <laughs> uh oh I just did it <laughs> little baby bridge <laughs> I'm gonna drop some cards All right, that's enough. Let's go ahead and cut them. All right. What does the collective need to know? What is the overall Eight of Pentacles? Um, somebody's learning a new skill. Um, maybe you're just learning how to chant, meditate, use some heat sound healing bowls. Um, maybe you started a cleaning business. Um, let that clean your space. Um, maybe you are some type of counselor or life coach or therapist and you just started a new program where you're working with families. 
maybe you're just learning how to cook. Um, maybe you're learning, just learning about the benefits of water. Maybe you're just learning about fairies. But somebody just learned a new skill or they're going to learn a skill. Um, maybe you're making some type of product or service or some type of product. And you're really taking pride in what you do. Um, maybe it has something to do again with your health. Um, maybe you're learning how to set boundaries so that you can do better in life. But some, some type of skill you're learning and it's really benefiting you. So that's great. What else does the collective? Ooh, a lot of cards flipped over, and I don't think I'm gonna take them. I did see the death and the ten of pentacles, but they were in the reverse. Three of wands. Um, making progress, looking ahead, you know, being proud of again of what you've accomplished. So some good congratulations. You're committed to whatever your strategy is. Um, and again, you're making progress. Um, moving full steam ahead with those fast wands. And you have the uh, seven of wands in the reverse. Um, somebody may have surprised you with something that you weren't ready for. And you weren't, you felt like maybe you weren't able to defend yourself in that moment. Maybe you gave in and, you know, you regret giving in. Um, or maybe you were trying to defend something that, you know, maybe some truth came out and you were trying to defend it and it really didn't make sense for you to try to defend something that's the truth. I feel like whatever this is, it may have delayed you from moving forward. Um, it was definitely a personal challenge for you. Maybe it was a test from the most high and you, maybe you didn't pass this test this time. <laughs> or someone around you. Again, remember, if this is not your energy, this could be the energy of somebody around you or somebody coming towards you. And what else does the collective need to know? And this is just a kind of what comes up, what comes out reading. Six of Pentacles. So you're going to be giving. Um, you're already very generous, and it looks like maybe you're going to have some wealth soon. And you're balancing out your energy, um, being of service to people, sharing your resources. Um, and just aiding and assisting others wherever and however you can. So that's great. Um, being of service to people. Um, what I'm also feeling like is there maybe has some people who, maybe the seven of wands is people who maybe portrayed you. So maybe this is somebody else's energy. Um, and you felt like you didn't stand your ground and defend yourself. But now those people may have to come to you asking you for help. Um, and But you're not going to turn your back on them. Maybe you won't give them as much as you would have given if they you know, were good to you. Um, but you're still not going to turn your back on them. Um, you're gonna, but you're going to make sure that you maintain your harmony and balance. Because that's what you've, one of the things you've acquired um, along your journey is inner harmony and balance so that's great okay what else does the collective need to know seven of pentacles maybe you felt like you were putting in hard work but it didn't pay off but it's going to um just continue to be patient because i feel like maybe you were being a little impatient you wanted you know you planted the seeds and you wanted it to grow right now right now right now right now because we do live in an instant gratification society um, but just continue to be patient it's going to work out 
nine of wands in reverse um you may have felt like giving up but at the same time you're refusing to quit you know you feel tired but you're still going to keep going you might be too guarded though um you might need to let your guard down a little bit the sun will come out tomorrow so the sun is going to come out everything is going to be illuminated you're going to have joy you're going to have positivity vitality clarity um, what was in the dark is going to come to a light and you'll be fully aware of what's going on everything is going to come out what else this is great reading actually See that death card again. Queen of Wands. If this is not your energy, this is the energy of someone around you. Someone strong, self-assured, charismatic, um, independent, enthusiastic about life. Someone who's an inspiration to others. Um, again, if this is not your energy, this is the energy of somebody that you know you may be dating or about to start dating. And, you know, you'll be able to move forward with this person. So that's great. That's great, 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 great. Um, this person is supportive and giving like you are with this Six of Pentacles out here. Uh, four Pentacles, but somebody is being a little stingy. <laughs> um, trying to hold on too, too, too tightly. Um, focus too much on money. And overprotective, maybe a little protect, overprotective with their assets instead of giving like the Six of Pentacles. If this is not your energy, this is the energy of somebody around you or someone from your past. Um, but this person is financially stable at the same time. Just a little, you know, frugal, we'll say. <laughs> Which... You can't hold on to it too tightly. You know, you have to be willing to share. You have to be willing to open up. Um, but this for person just achieved their first level of success. Again, after putting all this work with this Seven of Pentacles, again, if this hasn't already happened, it's about to. Um, but don't hold on to it. I, I, when I say don't hold on to it, don't be too cheap. That's what I'm saying. You know, save yes but you know queen of wands she came out sideways somebody who's you know you know an independent thinker this person can be very direct and blunt very articulate um willing to share though um so maybe you know maybe you were dating a queen of wands who was in that selfish energy and now you'll be dating a queen of swords male or female um who will be one more willing to share and it did fall right underneath the six of pentacles so i feel like you're a giving and caring person and you're going to meet a queen of swords who's giving and caring person right um yeah that's that's somebody who thinks logically somebody who's responsible And again, who's a giver? Oh, Ten of Pentacles did decide to come out. Came out in the reverse. Unexpected change in your finances, finances, your health, or your family life. Um, change is good, though. Sometimes, you know, it's difficult to deal with a change at first, or we don't want to change. But sometimes change is good. Um... I feel like you were in an unstable situation, so it's time to leave that situation and move on to something better. Can we please clarify the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? Six of Wands. Yep, you're going to have victory and success. <laughs> And can we clarify the nine of wands in reverse? Oh, goodness. Oh, no 
those cards. I see Justice tried to pop out. I can tell you how. Five of Wands. Um, yeah, your ambition was clashing with somebody else's. And, it, you know, you just couldn't seem to agree. And you didn't have anything in common with this person or these people. So it's time to go. Okay, what's the final outcome? Oh, goodness. Four of Cups in the reverse. Somebody um, was too self-absorbed, right? It's time for something new. Two of Pentacles, maybe you were juggling multiple people, multiple situations, and it was causing stress. Um, it's not easy to keep things in balance, but your ships are coming in. So, you're the emperor, right? Give thanks. Responsible, um, in a position of power, a great leader. Um, you make rules and maintain order. You have a solid foundation. Tempers came out in reverse. Um, there was definitely some type of imbalance, maybe within you, but I feel like, um, that's all over with or at least you're working on it being over with again if that's not your energy it's the energy of someone around you and now you have honesty right kindness good intentions trust um, maybe thinking about your childhood and how things used to be or thinking about a past situation maybe thinking about some kids that you know you love or are connected to or that you want um, or just thinking about the simple pleasures in life. <clears throat> um, whatever that card means for you. Um, but there's you're definitely um, going back to a state of harmony and balance. That's that childlike energy. To just have a harmony and balance. And love life. And just want to laugh and play. Not necessarily play like a kid. But, you know, just enjoying the simple things in life. And not have conflict and drama anymore. <clears throat> You're using your intuition. You're going to have a great relationships. And the sun will come out tomorrow. Right, that's it, y'all. Love y'all. Hope this was helpful. Um, later.